Hey folks, Rich here. Welcome back to the RC Informer YouTube channel. Uh, just a short video on E-Flight's uh, 80mm F-16. This is the um, uh, the ARF Plus version of the airplane that we did the unboxing of the other day. And then I also, uh, earlier, it was today or yesterday, I showed you the new FMS Pro Fan that I put in it and the afterburner ring. Well, I'm going to do a little taxi test in the street for everybody to check out. I'm running this on the NX-10 and what we're going to do is we're going to just plug it in get the afterburner going and give everybody just a little demo of it. Let me make sure my landing gear's down. Plug that in, get the lighting going so you all can see the lighting package. All right, flight controls are uh, initializing and I'm gonna go ahead and get the afterburner plugged in so everybody can check that out. As you can see here, it has a super, super nice lighting package on this thing all the way around. Make sure my throttle kill is off. I'll check my afterburner out and let y'all see that. But you can see how, see how really nice the lighting is on this airplane all the way around. Uh, there's our afterburner. I'll go ahead and light that up and I'll take the camera and we'll show some other pictures of it. This thing's really, really, really super powerful and I'm dying to get out and actually fly this thing. So I'm gonna activate our throttle there so you can hear this thing. Yeah, it's uh, pretty sweet. And uh, I'm gonna drive it around a little bit for everybody to, to take a look at. So um, uh, lots of uh, lots of lights around this thing. I'll give you just give you all a walk around of this. It's a real impressive airplane. We had it at Ceph, so and we flew it a lot. But this is a new one that I've got set up going. And again, in the upper right hand corner of the screen, folks, there'll be links where you guys can check out those Ceph flights. Um, you guys can check out um, the unbox that we just did this thing. The landing light on this thing is just spectacular. Um, and you guys can check out the fan I put in it. And you guys can also check out the afterburner ring that I just stuck in the back. So you guys can uh, take a look at this. So here, I'll light this up with the uh, throttle kill on. And we'll take a look at that uh, afterburner light. It's pretty impressive. This is from Hobby King. I'll put links in the description below this video so you guys can see um, take a look at and go directly to the um, ARF Plus version of this airplane at Horizon Hobby uh, for FMS so you guys can see the new fan that I put in it, the new Pro Fan and this afterburner light at Hobby King. So when I'm, as I'm cycling the throttle here um, with the throttle off you can see this is a pretty bulletproof um, uh, LED ring. It works really really nicely and actually this is their 90 millimeter uh, Dr. Mad Thrust uh, ring, and uh, all I did was just uh, sand the edges of it to get it to fit, and it fit in there really nicely, as, as you can see. And I went ahead and I put um, some uh, um, uh, sticker trim tape from the hobby store. Oh, I'm sorry, guys, my stabilization just died on me there. Let me reactivate that. Sorry, I had it at an extreme angle. Um, I put some sticker trim on the inside that's uh, reflective, and that's how I'm getting that that look out of it. I didn't really know how it was going to turn out until I actually, uh, you know, put it on there. But that's pretty slick, folks. It's uh, very neat. Maybe not super scale with the colors from, you know, blue to orange, you know, to red. But it's definitely cool. And I'm probably be putting this in some other other airplanes as time goes on. So, but the uh, the 80 millimeter F16 has a beautiful light package, especially with your wingtip lights, your uh, vertical light up there, um, and it just gives you really good orientation, um, just even in the dusk. So let me go ahead and activate our throttle here, and I'll drive this around just a little bit. Oh, out, of, out of screen already here. It has a great sound to it. It's just real impressive. Let me turn it back around. Yeah, it is one cool jet. Drive it on over here. I got a radio in one hand and I've got my camera in the other, so. This thing is slick. Very, very nice. So, but just a preview of it in the dusk. It's been a windy day today, so. We we're gonna be in West Wesley. We're supposed to Mary Boozer. We're supposed to go flying today, but we didn't. So uh, let me turn this on around. 
and just simply an awesome airplane. Flies beautifully, nice light package on it. Very, very cool. So let's turn it around here. Neighbor's taking his garbage out, sorry about that. So there we go. I'll bring it on back here real quick. Bring it on back. And we'll look at that afterburner one more time. I was a little distracted by my neighbor there because he was uh, kind of coming over here. So I think he got the gist that I was doing some video. So let me take this and turn it around again. I'll kill the throttle. Yeah, very cool, folks. Very, very nice. Very nice jet. And just digging that. Digging that afterburner light, folks. It's just really, really pretty impressive. Again, Dr. Mad Thrust makes this at Hobby King. I'll put links below for this, for the airplane, and the fan as well. So, uh, but definitely, uh, definitely very cool model. I went with the Wild Weasel tail uh, paint because I just thought it was the nicest sticker. The stickers go on this plane really nice. So, uh, you know, definitely a, uh, definitely a cool model. So. Uh, anyway, folks, uh, thanks for checking out RC Informer. We are going to get this out to the field and fly it just as soon as possible for everybody. Um, once again, guys, thanks for uh, watching. Um, if you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and all that. And uh, stay tuned. More videos coming. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, see you all guys next time.